box? Who's in the box? Uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Hey guys, it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures and I am so excited to be bringing you guys this video today. So we are going to be doing the mystery box unboxing. So who do we have in the house? You're first, John. Oh, I'm first. Okay. What's up, guys? I'm John. This is my picker. I am drinking. Oh, wait. No, wait. That's the wrong show. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking water, actually, tonight. All right. Who else do we have? Well, I'm Dwayne, and, and I'm an out. Oh, wrong, wrong meeting. <laughs> um, Mothership Products, and I'm here with a big box to open, a little box. <laughs> Go ahead, Lonnie. <laughs> okay, uh, wait, hang on, guys. Uh, we are getting some friggin' feedback from somewhere. Hang on, I gotta figure this oh, out. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, you've got to. Here, I got it, I found it, I found it, okay. Oh, such a rookie move. So, <laughs> hey guys, uh, I'm Lonnie, AKA Garage Flips, and I have my beautiful wife, Candace, with me here today. So she she decided to join me for the this mystery box opening, and we're so excited. <laughs> of course you are. You're here on my channel. You've got to be excited. I am. Okay, so I got a box too. We all ordered boxes off of eBay and Etsy, and we have been waiting patiently to open them in front of all of y'all. And um, I think we're going to go in order of the cost of the box. So. We're gonna go with the most least expensive to the highest, and John is gonna go first. And I am going to screen share his item description that he of his box that he bought. So let me see if I can bring that up. Or if he just has one thing. Can't hear you, Lonnie. Lonnie, can't hear you. I know I was being secretive. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you save those sweet uh, nothings for later on, Lonnie. Yeah, okay, right. This thing is a whopping ten ounces. Okay. I oh, yours is huge. Okay, I think this one's John's. Okay, let me try it. Yours is in blue writing, right, John? Yep, that's mine. Okay. All right. You want to read it? Live on the edge and buy a box that includes an item that is a complete surprise. No trash. It could be anything. <laughs> winky face. <laughs> okay. Um, hang on. All right. Let me lock it on you. Okay. I think we're good to go. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Now, how much did you spend on your box? There's free shipping. And you bought it on eBay, right? I bought it on eBay. Okay. I'm using a key to open it, so it's not really opening very well. All right. So I've got a few different things in here. There is a note hmm. that says, thank you for shopping with us. Something, something, you know, leave us feedback. All right. I've got a letter opener. All right. Excuse me. Mm. I've got a roll of tape. <laughs> <laughs> I have a keychain <laughs> from New York City. <laughs> it's very appropriate, Lonnie. <laughs> Some fingernail Dude, clippers. My oh my god, are they used? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I don't know. I mean, they're not in packaging, so I hope not. I'm losing my buzz. And <laughs> I've got <laughs> cotton dusters. Wait, what? what it's, it's, I don't... It's, like a, it's like a microfiber towel. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. It really looks like somebody went under their closet, I think they went... you know, into your bathroom and just kind of cleaned out the <laughs> in a box. <laughs> yeah. Do, do y'all remember when Geraldo Rivera went into Al Capone's tomb back in the eighties? <laughs> y'all remember that? That's what he this show. Yeah. The video. He went in live, and they had this big workup, and everybody, like millions, the whole country was watching. And it's kind of like this show is starting out. Like 
There's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, well, okay. Is that fun, John? Man. My That's heart is racing. That's $13 years spent, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Um, Dwayne, you're next, right? I think so. All right. Let me pull up your box description. All righty. <laughs> Here we go. She's like five seven. No. Oh. Did you grab? Did you love grab bags when you was a kid? Oh, <laughs> Got to click it on that so I can see it. <laughs> wait. Wait. What? <laughs> You keep changing. I can't read it. <laughs> Buy our ultimate grab bag with this mystery box. What could be inside? Only way to find out is to buy it. Guaranteed to not be trash or any gross. <laughs> <laughs> only, only, <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> okay, I got to get back here. Only fun, unique, and some. Wait, I stopped. I thought you were done. Where'd it go? I thought you were done. No, mine's like a, mine's a novel. <laughs> oh, my God. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> The Good best line was yet to come. <laughs> okay, can when you, you was see a it? Kid, um, yep, okay. So, uh, only fun, unique, and sometimes odd items for your pleasure. Disclaimer, you are buying this box sight unseen, and understand that we do not guarantee the value of anything in our mystery boxes. Items in this box may, may be used or new. We do not accept returns on these items. This is for fun, and the idea is to be surprised by what you get. Enjoy. <laughs> so, I do love grab bags when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, by the way, mine I got off of eBay, and it is... <laughs> Oh, thir 13 ounces. So I want, I three upped you, John. Hopefully, my <laughs> yeah. tape is maybe I get, you know, masking tape instead of just <laughs> scotch tape. So hold on here. Let's get this open here. All right. All right. Hey, first thing, I, dang, I did all right already. A hat. Ooh, wow. Oh, it, even nice. Nice. it even has a price tag on it. Wow, man, that's pretty nice. Is it was like that 20, Arizona? There's 24 bucks on it. I don't know what it is. Um, this is on the back. It says Mitchell and Ness. Oh, well, wow. that's yeah. the company it's, that made it. It, it, yeah. it is a hockey. It's, it is hockey. So, um, yeah, I guess it would be what the who it is Arizona Coyotes or something. Is that um, what it is? I don't know. So anyway, you can sell that. That's not bad. Dude, I know, you'll right? Money. You'll make money it's, on this. And it's new. Yeah, and it's new. It's it's new. Hey, well, all right. I might have to give this guy good feedback or something. Right? What'd you wow. say you spent on your box? Oh, I, I spent $20 shipped. Okay. Okay. You might oh. be even right now. Yeah. yeah. I've got a dinosaur thing. <laughs> 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 okay. So, look at it first there. Hey, I'm up right up your alley, John. I got a toothbrush, buddy. Oh, okay. it, uh, pink one. <laughs> All right, let's go here. Uh, I got a stormtrooper. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's like a little jewelry box thingy. Like a coin purse or something? Sure. Yeah, it looks like it's a little purse. It's got a little snap. Like a... I don't know what it is. Not too bad, though. Yeah. And I got shaped treat, treat bags shaped like Easter eggs. Nice. I see all of this on the auction show on Saturday night on Dwayne's <laughs> channel. <laughs> and I got, I have no idea what the hell this says. It says stickabilities. They're like black stickers. That's scratch stickers. Oh, see? Maybe I should send yes, them. Yes, Dwayne. Well, sheesh. <laughs> and that would be it. Dwayne, Debbie Porter says that that little purse is a lipstick holder. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sure to make sure I get my lipstick in there. <laughs> so. Okay, Dwayne, I judge that box. I think it's good. Not bad, yeah. I yeah, so. that I was a good right. box. Pretty good. I know, right? Let me make sure. Yeah, that's it. Sweet. 
I did all right. Yeah, you did. That was good. All right, so uh, I think we're going to Lonnie next, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to pull up my listing so I can read oh, it. Oh, oh, the other, somebody also said these stickabilities are for labels for mason jars. Oh, I could see that. So that's what she said, so cool. So you're going to bring up your item description, Lonnie? Oh, no, no, you can bring it up. Oh. I'm just going to read it from my phone. Okay, got it. Okay, hang on. This is going a lot faster than I thought. <laughs> Okay. Hopefully mine will take a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you have to put the pieces together, you know, like broken this, broken that. <laughs> All right. Let me know if you see it, Lonnie. Okay. Yeah, it's up there. All right. So up for sale, one mystery box. Could be really anything. We'll have at least five items. I will not include trash or anything gross. That seems to be a common theme among these uh -huh. <laughs> Items will be... Pre-owned, some may be new. It's part of the fun to see what you will get. Have fun with this. And then blah, 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 and then talk about flat rate box. So, And then they say, I want everyone to have fun. They had 100% feedback. They had like a 1,400 total feedback. So they look pretty pretty decent. I never, I didn't see any feedback for mystery boxes. Though. So so are you telling me that you did research on this actual box? <laughs> Yeah, because I just picked like the one, one that was twenty bucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was twenty five dollars free shipping, but they paid for a medium flat rate box, which is like what twelve or thirteen bucks or whatever. Wow! So I've only they've only got like thir twelve or thirteen dollars into this thing. You know? So let's see what we got. I'm not going to cut you. <laughs> don't trust him. Candace, don't trust him. <laughs> the knife back. <laughs> All right. I'll let Candace do the honors. Oh, you just yanked her earbud out. <laughs> We're not good at this. We've never, we've never done this before. This dual thing. All right. Oh, that would be cool, Andy. And oh, he says he cool. hopes it's cuddles. Oh <laughs> my gosh, that would be creepy. Oh, cool. Harlem Globetrotters that patch. Is cool. Ooh, that is cool. That's pretty neat. That's actually huh, from 2015. Okay. What else we got? Huh, this is interesting. What is this? Is like a tool belt? Or? A fanny pack or something? A tool belt, but it's got stuff in it. Um, and it, it looks Fishing like bait. Oh, it's for fishing, huh? Yeah. It's for fishing. Hmm. Power, Power bait, bait. Trout bait. I never heard of that before. I've seen those. It's like Play-Doh, I think. And you like yeah. form it yeah. into, a, huh. into a little... Yeah, I use it all the time. This thing looks, this thing looks new. Yeah. This, this thing looks brand new. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. So I like that. That's good. Man, I got a lot of stuff in here, dude. Look. Oh. Bunch of stuff. Whoa. Hey, we've got cosmetics. Uh, hey, you can have this if you have lipstick. Fingernail polish. Okay. Nice. Sweet. Good. Very nice. And That'll look good on Lonnie. What does this say? <laughs> this is, wait, we're old people. We got <laughs> uh, nail color, some julep nail color. I don't know. It looks kind of fancy. I don't know. Some more they put some thought into this. There's like guy stuff and. Girl yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah, dude, I smart. Oh, this okay. My box is fun. <laughs> right. You better be careful. You about elbowed Candace right in the head. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just haven't had a baseball card in a long time. I don't buy them. Uh, this is a Ichiro card. Ah. Oh, nice. And then I got a Roberto Clemente card. I'm guessing that's a reprint. <laughs> It'll say it on the back usually. Look at the year at the bottom oh, no. corner. No, this is a uh, 1970. Well, the last year on here is 1972. So nice. Then yeah, it's 73. But no, 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 no. Wait. That was that the last year he played was 72 or the card year. Oh wait, it's got John. You ever seen this? It's got some kind of peel off protection on the card itself. 
You ever heard of okay, that? Okay, so that has to be a reprint. Um, yeah. It's like a different grade. So on the back of the card, look at the very, very, very bottom in like super small print, say like 2014 or 2015. It says 1998. What? 1998. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's a re reprint. Still cool, though. Refractor, Andy said. That's what it is. It's a refractor okay. card. All right, well, that's fun. Okay, then we got a movie... Hotel Transylvania. Oh, that's a cute one. Okay. Is that VHS? No, dude. This is DVD. <laughs> oh, it's hard to see. I'm you're moving it so quick. I'm like, what the heck is it? <laughs> dude, sealed. Die Whoa. hard. Nice. Awesome. Wow. Oh, it's in a... Uh, I think you did pretty good. It's like a metal case. It's like in a special edition metal, like steel case kind of thing. <gasps> Man. Oh, look at Candace. She's in there. <gasps> All excited. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is. What is it? It's stickers for the back of the car or something. Oh, yeah. That is oh, so okay. cute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, your family size. Are you focused on me, Tanya? Yes. Okay. Yeah, look. A zombie family. That's kind of cool. I don't know how big the stickers are. I guess, are they that? Is that the size of them? That's really small. They're showing them on a motorcycle tank and a laptop. Oh, okay. Cool. In a car. Oh, wow. All right. So this seller is a good mystery box. Oh, gold. holy shit. I might have some gold here, y'all. I'm sorry. Excuse my <laughs> I think I got freaking gold. Oh. Where's that cha-ching sound effect? I don't know. Where's my phone? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Let's see. 24 karat China. Yeah. <laughs> No, no markings. No, no, I got a uh, little Mr. T starter kit here. Uh, that's a, yeah, I was going to say, that's a little pimp, a little pimp uh, necklace for you to start with, Lonnie. Yeah, Angie says yeah. gold jewelry. <laughs> ripped out of your bud. Candace has something over here. Cute. A little bird. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, that is so it's cute. From Mexico, a little Stuff pulp. out. Yeah. That is a nice box. Yeah, this is neat. It's like uh, to sit on the bottom. Cat Mexico. That's what it says. I don't know why. Is it, it, says is cat. it wood or porcelain or? No, it's like ceramic. Yeah. Ceramic clay. Yeah. Wow. But it's pretty cool. It's probably hand painted, I'm sure. Oh. Yeah, it's nice. Angie likes it, Lonnie. Okay. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a bird. There you go. Oh, this is oh, this is perfect for me. The world's I have a book here. The world's most powerful leadership principle. Uh, James Hunter. Wow, and if wow. you could read, that would be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> How in the world did they fit all of that stuff in that box? Like, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, golly. <laughs> <laughs> I knocked her earbud out of her ear like ten times. Oh, jeez. Poor Candace. But no, that that was a. I'm I'm happy with that box. Yeah, that you did well. That was well, very nice. That was pretty good. Yep. I don't know, Tanya. Okay. You're gonna be able to beat that. That was pretty all right, tough. Let me see. If I can find my item description. Oh, Karen's at the beach says, Lonnie, get up the magnet for the gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can read. No, that's not the right one. Yeah, it is. Is it? Mr. So that's it. Well, how do I see it? Because I'm not seeing the right specimens. one. Specimens. And they also, I think they misspelled <laughs> specimens. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so here it is. <laughs> Uh, mystery box, a box full of oddities and jewelry. Some of the contents will be jewelry supplies, vintage things, crystals, specimens, glass, and oddities, and or more. So that's what got my attention was the specimens and the oddities. Am I echoing? <laughs> nope. Yeah, I'm We're getting some feedback that. somewhere. Hmm. What should we do in this case? I don't hear it. I don't hear it either. I don't hear it now. Probably what it was. Yeah. You're good. Okay. And so I bought my box on Etsy and I paid $25 plus some shipping. So I spent $36, you guys. <laughs> but I'm so excited. <laughs> my box almost didn't come in time. It just got here last night, late. I can get it open. I think mine came last week. 
Well, I bought it early, but she waited a while to ship it, I guess. Okay. You guys are being quiet. <laughs> well, you know, I was thinking what we ought to do if we ever do something like this again is have the audience vote on who did the best, who got the best box. And whoever got the best box gets all of it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But you got to spend the same amount of money. This is like Christmas right. time. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This oh, yeah. If it's from Etsy, does it have to be craft supplies and vintage? I don't know. If it's from Etsy. Specimens. Here is a. It says Midwest Taiwan on the bottom, and it's like a little baby. I don't know, like a rocker. What do you call these? Like a little bed. Cradle. Bassinet hmm. or something. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what it is, or I guess it could be a sled. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, shoot. There was a, oh, it looks just like a business card. Should I get it? Did we have a note or anything? Hmm. I didn't have a note at all. Okay. All right. I'm moving on. Um, and a basket. Okay. Madeline's going to love all this stuff. <laughs> a little mini basket. It's like plastic, meshy. Oh, I see feathers. You're still winning, Lonnie. Wait. Oh, something definitely broke. Um, here's a little bird. Hmm. Tony, I'm liking my box better than yours so far. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of creepy. At least he can use his. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right? What in the world? That's just creepy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the creepy doll. She gets the creepy doll. <laughs> With the bed. Maybe it, does that fit? Does it fit in the cradle too, and the basket? No, <laughs> the baby, a, I mean. <laughs> that's a weird looking doll, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness! There's like a bunch of mini stuff in here. I don't hear the excitement from you anymore, Tony. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not scared because it looks like something broke. I don't know what it is, but I, I was shaking the box and I could tell something broke. Oh, I can't imagine why it broke. I was shaking the box really hard and I heard it. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty. Jewelry. <laughs> so it's a brooch. Ooh, it's marked. Let me look at this. Well, no, it's not marked. Looked like it was, but I'm well, not I'm telling you that loop sure was handy. Where was that thing? Uh, my loop is always handy. Quickest <laughs> 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 loop in the West. <laughs> oh, it's another bird. This is a, a little red bird. Okay. Oh my gosh, this box goes on forever. I'm gonna speed it up. Okay, some more jewelry. And this one looks like a uh, a brooch. Very pretty. Back. That's neat how she individually wrapped everything. Oh my gosh, what in the world is this? <laughs> like little, That's like a monchi <laughs> cheek. It's a monchi cheek. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Is that what it is? I it's don't know. It looks like, like it. He's got a little long That's the tail. specimen they were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Dwayne, sing the song. You remember that song for that commercial for Mon Chi Chi? Uh, Mon Chi Chi. Mon Chi Chi. Oh, so go. soft and cuddly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have I kids. They watch the cartoon. <laughs> what is this? Um, it's like a vintage doll shirt. Can y'all see it? Yeah. I'm glad it's a shirt. At first, I thought it was going to be panties. I was getting worried. <laughs> <laughs> well worn. Shizfin says the uh, <laughs> Monty G can be the new mascot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. They're going to get positive feedback. Uh-oh. This is a unicorn of sorts. Let me if I can get it open. Oh, how pretty, and its little belly is made of crystal. All right, I'm just going to cut this. 
Angie Treasured Vintage said, no, no, I'm sorry. Treasure Hustler says don't smell them. That wasn't Angie that said that. Treasure Hustler says don't smell them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is really pretty. Can y'all oh, see wow. it? That is pretty cool. Oh, it's, it's like, like pewter. It's like crystal. Pewter. Yeah, and pewter. yeah, it looks like it. And the bottom says China. Um, uh, hang on. It says Man Manong Manong 1984. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this must be what broke. Uh, well, good. You can send the whole box back now. <laughs> oh, it's a shell. It's okay. Yeah, I guess there was a shell in there. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> That's random. All right, am I going slow, you guys? Too slow? You're fine. You got plenty of time. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, oh, right. Oh, this is like a little paperweight, like a little gym. A little paperweight. Hoop? You know, like a gym. Wait, hold it still. Oh. Okay. Like crystal or something. Oh yeah. Oh, sure multifaceted. <laughs> yeah, like a diamond paperweight, I guess. Are we yeah. sure it's not a diamond though. That's a you know, this might be the find. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what in the world? I can't believe this didn't break. I don't even know what this is. It looks like it looks like um like Christmas lights. And you put this over the light? Oh, my gosh. Icicle. Oh, like an icicle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Carol says that she spit her coffee out when Dwayne said China. <laughs> Great. And um, Grung, going on, Grumpy said, you're moving really fast, Tanya. Slow down. Am I? <laughs> this is a, what she said. <laughs> a crate and barrel... Matte shiny shape heart, I guess. Oops, be still. Hmm. CC Nagel says, Look for Rosenthal on that paperweight. Uh, there's no markings on it. No markings. This one? This? Must be in a, just a diamond then. Okay. I'm still waiting on my specimen. Okay, this looks like a little coffee mug. <laughs> I like how you unwrap. It's like, whew, whew, whew. you always open <laughs> stuff like that, Tanya? <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> whew, right over her head. <laughs> um, this says, you know, I'm not going to even try because I don't want to chop it up. Wait. Can you guys see that? Yep. Kind of. Lone China is what I see in Hitkara or something. Yeah, I'm glad you said it, not me. So there you go, a little mug. Who am I going to offend? <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. A few more items, you guys. Oh, this is neat. The bottom says made in China like a little trinket box. Okay, that's not bad. That's, that's pretty cool. You can put your weed in there. What? <laughs> Dwayne L., what are you talking about? <laughs> I'll send it to you. You can put your weed in there. <laughs> I don't even play with that stuff. <laughs> okay. This looks really cute. It looks like a little cow of sorts. Hey, Skippy. Uh, With no legs. He's laying down. He's laying down, yeah. Oh. oh, okay, I see it. Okay. There's a bottom. Did I show that at the bottom? Oh. Okay. Little Christmas vintage Christmas ornament. Is that a little bird? It looks like Tweety. Looks like cuddles, kind of, huh? Oh, it's the head of a doll. <laughs> what is that? 
does kind of look like a like a doll head or something. It's with definitely the eyelashes. A you know the eyelashes and that. Yeah. Okay. One more thing. Yeah, it's liquid. Wow. I know. You gonna drink it? No. It's magic <laughs> it is called the Great Something Obsession. Ah. <laughs> it's, good. It's, so, it's so good. It just got rid of all that lettering for you. <laughs> oh, that smells nice. I mean, I wouldn't wear it, but. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. Stink pretty goes to, to Madeline. No, because no. Then I'll have to still smell it. Oh, I guess that's true. That was fun. <laughs> I like one that you let's have people vote. To give up your stuff, no, I'm just I curious to see what it <laughs> 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 Or maybe we should make the person with the worst one have to take everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's interesting, but there's no specimen. You know what? I'm I not sure they know what the word specimen actually really means. <laughs> they did spell it wrong. So. <laughs> yeah. We should all turn around and just sell these right back, right back again. Just box all this shit up. Three boxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we can buy another one. All right. Wait, why are they talking about panties in the chat? <laughs> what? These are your viewers, Tanya. <laughs> Lonnie wants his. The panties, Ellen. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so, are, are y'all happy that we did this? I mean, it, it was fun. I enjoyed opening yeah, it. Was fun. Yeah, no, yeah, I thought yeah. it was fun. Sure. Definitely. I'm thinking about doing I'm an ebook right e on how to uh, buy mystery boxes. There you go. I think you could sell <laughs> that. You better get on it now that you just told the whole world about it. How, how to make yeah, big we money. Seven, we have 77 <laughs> people watching. So, I mean, you've just you've flooded the market. Right. Oh boy. No, oh, there we go. That's a good topic. <laughs> Build the beans on mystery boxes. <laughs> boy, that'd be a hell of a way to source though, wouldn't it? Just buy mystery boxes and sell the sell the crap. <laughs> wow, wow. I'm gonna sell some stuff for sure. I'm gonna sell some stuff from this box. Oh, I'm selling too. I'm I mean I might I think I I think I could maybe turn a profit. I think Dwayne could too. I think just this is the only thing that I really could sell. Everything else came back, you know, goes to Dollar Tree. Oh, this one says Walmart. So, yeah, so is this one. This says Made in China and Walmart. So, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe my my dinosaur might be worth a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. know where the boxes were purchased. We all bought them. Oh, no, we didn't all buy them on eBay. I bought mine on eBay. Everybody bought on eBay but me, yeah. I bought mine on Etsy. Yeah, and mine came from Tennessee, so that's why you know it. It was was a kid when I had it when I, when I was a kid. <laughs> Karen's at the beach. Says, "Can John show his stuff quickly? I missed it. Trust me. Be happy that you missed it. <laughs> You're not gonna you didn't miss a thing. Yeah, it's bad. I already forgot what you got in there." Yeah, oh, but everything bad. that he got is useful. You can actually use it. It's not junk, right? Oh wait, you got like the um, the un under the tape. under the kitchen sink area, under the bathroom sink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The microfiber can, wipe and tape, yeah. and you can clean, and you can um, wrap packages and clip your toenails. <laughs> yeah, <clip. laughs> they want to reshow, John. I mean, oh all right, I'll do this them. real quick. Real quick. <laughs> so I got a letter opener, got a microfiber towel, invisible tape, <laughs> a New York City keychain, and some fingernail clippers. I forgot about the keychain. That makes the whole box complete. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do we have any questions in the chat or anything? I really haven't been looking a whole lot. Treasure Hustler says junk drawer a lot. 
Yep, I agree. That's the way to get rid of the stuff. Yeah, really bad. Um, we're on Etsy. Everything, we're on Etsy. I say that a lot, don't I? Yes, you do. <laughs> You're, You're excited. We're on Etsy. I'm so excited. It's Etsy. <laughs> I get told two or three times a day that I need to sell that on Etsy. I'm like, no, I won't. I think you know, it would Candace, be a great... you need to sell it on Etsy then, Candace. Yeah. Just take it away from him. I got a question. You do the Etsy thing. Tony, I got an Etsy question for you. Oh, gosh. I hope um, I can answer it. Can you, are you able to look up sold items on Etsy or just active? Um, well, you can uh, definitely look up active, but sold, I think you have to go to that uh, Flipper Tools. Yeah. I think that's what it's called, Flipper Tools. Mm -hmm. And you just uh, copy the link the, of the item and put it in the Flipper Tools, and then it will tell you what it sold for. I see. It's it's kind of a pain. I mean, I don't know why Etsy just doesn't do what everybody wants and, and make that make that an option, right? It's you probably, know, that'd be a lot, a lot easier for the sellers. Yeah, it's probably pretty pricey though. I mean, because you'd have to have storage for all that, right? Yeah, to store, you yeah, you do. Wouldn't you rather not have that available for the buyers though? So that, like, if you have the only one up right now. They can't look at the history and get a ballpark of what it should cost. You tell them what it costs. You know, that's one of the maybe pluses. We can all use flipper tools. They don't know about it. Yeah, so. that's true. I mean, I'm sure they have their reasons. On eBay, like, on eBay, if you sell something that doesn't come up for sale, like, maybe once a month or every couple of months, the buyers are looking at solds just as much as the sellers are. You know, so they know if you're in line or not. On Etsy, they won't know. Yeah, yeah. that's a good point. So, Lonnie, so, Lonnie think, why don't you like – oh, I'm sorry, Tony. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say that would be a fun video series for you, uh, selling on Etsy. Like, yeah. you know, a beginner. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, no. <laughs> He's why like, do you hate yeah. Etsy so much, Lonnie? Why do you I, hate Etsy? No, I don't, Why don't you like Etsy? Because I know it involves um, – it's, it's this whole social thing. I don't do that. No, 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 it's not. Etsy's not like that. That's um, that's no, like Palm, dude, whatever, Poshmark. Poshmark. No, Etsy is like that. It used to be like that. I don't do that, Lonnie. Yeah, I don't either. I don't play the games. There used to be you had to get in people's circles and play the game and you get, yeah. Right. I don't so think it's, very it's few like people do. like a pyramid kind of thing almost to try and build the site up, yeah. you think? It's kind of more build a network, but yeah, I don't, uh, I don't do any of that. Do that. Whitney sold on Etsy for years, and really? she never promoted any of it on social media. Yeah, she made all kinds of crafts and stuff, and sold thousands of dollars worth, and never ever promoted any of it on social media. Right. Yeah, even Andy uh, says that is no more. So. Okay. Yeah, and Lonnie, it takes me literally one minute because I've got, I do it on eBay first, and then I have another window open with Etsy, and I literally just copy and paste everything, and boom, it's done so quickly. If it's vintage, you know. Their fees a lot lower too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. twenty cents for three months or something. Four you months. Don't pay a final value Four. fee. Um, I don't know how the fee structure works. I mean, I, I would imagine you pay some kind of final fee. I should know that, but I don't. I don't Angie, do. let us know in the chat if you know. I'm sure I she don't knows. Think you do, or maybe you don't. I don't know. I, hell, I don't know. I have no idea. I've never heard of one. Yeah, I just deposit the money. <laughs> Look, uh, Mr. Sadie in the chat saying, I agree. Etsy is known for the social game. Well, apparently I was wrong because I've been thinking that. Yeah, I've don't been, let that stress you out. I, no, I'm not it stressed. It used to be. I'm just like grumpy, anti Etsy guy. Maybe I got to change my tune. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people that are looking for vintage and unique things go to Etsy specifically over eBay. Um, it's just like going to like a or instead of Walmart. You know, some people just won't shop at Walmart and they're going to go to a different store and Etsy might be the, the very same thing, but the internet version. Yeah. I agree. Then, Etsy definitely has its own following, I feel like. Then do I have to get like the little sachet bags and the little fancy... Tissue papers and all this and that. You, Lonnie, you are thinking about <laughs> Poshmark. People on Poshmark really take a lot of time and, and do their packages up really nice when they send them. But Etsy's not like that. I mean, okay. you want to make a nice presentation, but it's no more than what I do for eBay. Okay. Is there an automatic way to post? I've asked you this before. I'm not going to ask you. But, uh, man, if there's an automatic way to go from eBay to Etsy, 
man, that would be awesome. But I guess I don't. Why doesn't Etsy do that? I wonder. I guess they don't want all that crap. Well, you'd have to. I mean, you have to. It has to be vintage. You right. Know, you, couldn't, you couldn't transfer everything from eBay. Right. It, yeah. You only had to be certain things. Yeah. Uh, you know, I should just do a video on it so you can see how fast I do it. Okay. There you go. You're always, I will. You're I will. always make scouring it. for our video ideas, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Steph, <laughs> Steph said, I'm just going to say it. Etsy is a woman's site. <laughs> okay, that must be Steve. <laughs> 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 well, Candace, is it a woman's site? I don't know. I'm a woman. Okay. What is your perception? Uh, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because um, I've always looked there for like handmade children's items, um, like clothing and stuff like that. Um, I have looked a little bit for vintage stuff, but I've never really found, you know, anything special. Yeah. So, so if I put a picture of my middle-aged bearded face as my profile picture on Etsy, <laughs> you want to buy from me? Um, yeah. So Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that, Lonnie. <laughs> put a picture of a flower or something. Yeah, you should have just saw the look that we saw from Candace. <laughs> it wasn't good, man. <laughs> Plenty. Didn't see that one, but I've seen it. Lots of guys sell on Etsy. I'm reading an article on Fortune.com, and it says 86% of the sellers on Etsy are women. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Wow. There you go. Yeah. I wonder what the well, percentage that's, that's, of the buyers are. Probably higher. That's even more reason for you guys to sell on Etsy because women probably buy more than men. True. Right? I've, I've shopped quite a bit on there. I get, you know, handmade jewelry and stuff for Whitney and different crafts and things. Well, we're doing some general generalizing and stereotyping today. Aren't we? <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> <what I'm> <laughs> well, let's piss everybody off. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, this ain't on my channel? Oh gosh! I know you got eighty-six people listening to this rabble. Hi, eighty-six people! Thanks for joining us. <laughs> All right, so somebody did. I'm sorry, I don't didn't remember who it is, but um, they commented. I think the final value fee on Etsy is three percent. Mm, okay. Wow, that's low. That's nothing. Yeah, nothing. And and the listing, like you said, is like twenty cents for four months. So yeah, long time. Hmm. Do they do best offers or you just kind of got to figure out your price and leave it or drop it down over time? Yeah, they don't do best offer over there. But can't you just contact the seller and, and negotiate a better price? I guess you could. I don't see why not. Because I think I've heard of people that, you know, they just contact them with their contact info and uh, and go that way. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely work with somebody if they message me. Do they have sales? I don't think so. I don't remember ever seeing anything like that. Okay. What is not like not like for the markdown manager or something that's bulk. Yeah, I just thought of a video idea. Thank yeah, you, guys. See, Karen's at the beach says on Etsy people make me offers. <laughs> so. Hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to make a post on my Facebook page. I want to follow everybody's Etsy store, so let's like all follow each other. That would be a lot of fun, so I'll do that when we get done here because I want to see what you guys are selling. I don't even remember what mine's called. Do you have any listings, Dwayne? Yeah, I think I got four or five is all. But yeah. I don't remember the name of my thing. You can see how often I go there. I'd have to look it up. Hey, here's a question from um, On the Roads again. Do you guys specifically keep items from Etsy and eBay separate? I know the answer to that one, but I've never heard this one, the second part. Isn't eBay on cross-list patrol? I've never heard that. Yeah, I don't think so. What does that mean? No, they're just asking if, like, if, if like, eBay, eBay watches. Is, yeah, watches to see if people are cross-listing. I don't know why they would care. Other than yeah, no kidding. fill the order. Um don't yeah. you cross, cross post? Yeah, I do. All my vintage items are on eBay and Etsy. And I, think all, a problem, I right? think all four of mine are too. <laughs> <laughs> I 
No, I mean, if that was against the rules, there couldn't be places like Bonanza then, right? Because yeah, right, yeah, exactly. And there's plenty of people that, you know, drop ship and all that that don't have product in hand. So, I mean, as long as you stay within the metrics, I mean, what? I don't see why they would care. Yeah, so Candace, you should start listing on Etsy for Lonnie. Right. All that jewelry you guys got. Yeah, uh, yeah. She just have to quit her full time job right. and do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I literally walked in the door before this video started tonight. Yeah, that is a long day. Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right. Would well, you guys want to wrap it up, or do you want to yes, talk some need, more? No, we need to eat dinner and do kid stuff, and I think we might go to the gym and all kind of other stuff. So. Oh, y'all got a long evening plan too, huh? Yeah. I got pictures to take with my new setup, my new lights. Yay. What'd you get, Dwayne? Oh, I got a new lighting setup, a 1600-watt um, dual boxes. Oh, really? I had the, the cheesy umbrellas before, and I had those for like four years. And you oh. know how sucky. I have, I have, I use, I'm using the umbrella right now. That's what's like. I know, but you see, you're a, you're a photography person. I'm not. It might look like crap. I already told you my pictures suck. So I went and bought a new setup of lights, uh, in hopes okay. that, that helped. Cool, man. So it's like, it's probably still, yeah, there's two, uh, two, uh, 16 by 24 boxes with, uh, I don't know, four bulbs in it each. It comes out to 1600 Watts. So of, of, uh, daylight. Is it the is it the kind that has like a switch for each bulb so you can turn on however many bulbs? You um, it, it has two. It has two switches, so you, it does two two each. Okay. Two switches. I think that. I've got those same lights, Dwayne. Yeah, they were like eighty bucks. I mean, they were they were not real expensive. I wasn't expecting to get great things, so I just need more light because I'm down in a basement now as well. Before I was, you know, above ground, so I had normal light. But now when we moved, I came down into a basement, so it's kind of dark. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming over and joining us this evening. Um, I had a lot of fun. I think everybody else did too. <laughs> Heck yeah. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Well, um, also, let's make an announcement, Lonnie. You want to? While we're here, might as well. Yeah. Uh, why don't you do it? Since it's your okay. Channel. So, yeah. guess what, everybody? Deb from Painting Pesos is going to be joining us on the reseller six pack. Yay. Awesome. Yes. So Love that. So we're doubling the female population right here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. If I start, right. if I start selling on Etsy, I might be officially a girl too. So. Yeah. Just, just mail me, mail me your man card. I know you said you don't have one because you have all your women and all your all daughters. It's just you in there. But. All uh, your women. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were all surrounded by women. <laughs> Dwayne's just awkward, kid. It's okay. I am. I'm way awkward. I can't help it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye guys. See ya.